backyard. It was Indiana, just mm -hmm. like yours, right. that you went, wait, these don't grow in Indiana. This is actually, in my estimation, the most impressive spring flower. It looks totally like a agree. tropical. Yes. But it's not. No, it's hardly down to negative 40 degrees. <laughs> negative 40. Yeah. These are called crown imperials. Mm -hmm. And they are different. They are unique. This is a four-piece collection. Uh, it is a little more expensive than some of the other, but part of it is the rarity of this plant. The stems on these. Three to four feet tall. Yeah. Super sturdy. No need to stake. Whether it's in the ground or in pots, like I live in an apartment, they'll hold their own wherever you wherever you plant them. They look like bells. Yeah, you know, they look like upside down tulips almost in this okay. beautiful cluster. They come together and it makes a crown, hence the name Crown Imperial, uh -huh. with the dangling crown jewels that come from the pollinators. And then even the greenery, it's eye catching. I mean, you see these in the garden, these beautiful tufts of green on the top, even on the bottom, the foliage, it's so vibrant. You can't walk past them and not want to you know, touch them and just see what is this Crown Imperial Fritillaria. And every plant, by the way, has a story. And that's mm -hmm. part of the fun of doing shows with the, the Wallines and the Roberta family is because we can tell the story. Yep. Uh, we talk a lot about deer resistant. Yes. Now, people down in Florida, uh, they want to hear that stuff, but they'll say <laughs> things like, well, is it a guana? Exactly. We have relatives resistant. in Florida and they're like, how can we pr prevent the iguanas from picking up all of our other plants? And we told them the Fritillaria, it's an amazing solution because not only do they look beautiful, right. but they're so useful. The bulb has a sweet musky aroma. And, and let me show them yep. the bulbs. The bulbs themselves, the, the plant itself is not a fragrant plant. Correct. But the bulb, and you notice that these bulbs are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. They do, they've got kind of a sweet muskiness Mus exactly. and to the bulb itself. You'll smell it now, when you get them, you'll smell them. But once you put them underground, you'll have no more knowledge of the scent but who will is all those critters your iguanas especially your gophers, deer gopher deer yeah exactly yep. everything on your farm dan put them put the fritillaria throughout your farm and right. no one will be coming over for dinner anymore they it, it actually can work as almost like deer fencing exactly like look at in your garden here it's almost That's like cool. um, a force field of fritillaria <laughs> put them everywhere and it's really putting up a force field protecting all of your other spring blooms and even your summer bulbs from being dug up and what I love about the Fritillaria is the height. You know, we talked about the tulips being super tall. Well, these are three to four feet tall. Most so, spring flowers are mm -hmm. almost ground cover. Exactly. So putting the Fritillaria, it really gives your garden beautiful depth and dimension. And, and I'm, I'm just telling you flat out, your neighbors don't have this. They don't, exactly. And I love that you talked about, you know, bragging rights with my brother because the Fritillaria still bloom April to May, four to six weeks, okay. which is sort of a period where not a lot of spring flowers will come. So when your neighbors have Still, you know, not the most beautiful garden. They'll look at yours. And Their you... spring garden is almost dawn. Exactly. Almost dead. Yes. Yep. And you'll have these bright, fiery orange fritillarias in your garden. And just look at them. They stand so strong and tall, like an imperial soldier almost. It, it changes everything. Here's, here's a good example. And I'll tell you mm -hmm. where I wanted to plant these. Yeah. Uh, our pool area mm -hmm. is not lavish. Okay. But when these actually will grow, it's still a little early for the pool area. Right but it will give a tropical look to that area. They really will. And like I said- That looks like summer yep. way before summer happens. And they give that tropical look, but their hardy zones three to 10. So Down to Maine, 40 degrees below zero. Exactly. Maine to Miami, wherever in the well, country, if you want these for Delaria, they will grow for you, I promise. Look at them, they're different. They're such they're a beautiful- absolutely different. You know, each stem will give you about five to six flowers. So in just the one collection, you'll be getting 24 to 56 flowers. Your and they first, come back next year. They'll and come the year back after next that, year. The year and after but that. But they'll bring you more. So you'll get more beautiful crown clusters in your garden. And really just against a bright blue sky, right. it's such a beautiful color contrast. And they're such a useful spring flower because they'll protect all of your other blooms. Oh. Uh, apparently someone tried to steal one of the flowers. I guess so. <laughs> well, <laughs> there it goes. By We're the good. Way, We're good. I have never seen a man more embarrassed than the guy who just tripped the alarm on the car that's on our garage set. Well, if he really wants fritillarias, we can talk later. But. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy. Now, let me let me ask you this, yeah. Stephanie. Welcome to Live TV. Mm -hmm. By the way, you are a pro. Thanks, Dan. You, you know, Derek, it wouldn't have phased him, but you can blow up a brown paper bag and burst it behind his head and the boy doesn't jump. <laughs> I can tell that you two are related. Uh, in the off season. Yeah. Do I, do I have to pull these bulbs out of the ground? No, you don't have to do anything. Just so, plant them once and you're done. Yeah, and let me go ahead and show you how to plant them because they're such an easy fall bulb and a spring flower. So you'll be getting four of the Crown Imperial bulbs. And, and sniff them. Yeah, exactly. I, and I wouldn't normally tell you to do that with bulbs, but sniff these. Yeah, when uh, you get it's them. It's a fragrance that 
is really unique. Mm -hmm. Do you want to smell? It's yep. it's sweet mm -hmm. and musky, musky together. Yeah, it's really a not dab behind the ear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put it on as perfume. So the way to plant these is it couldn't be easier. And like I said, you want to plant them in your garden if you have one to protect all of your others. But I live in an apartment and they make for beautiful potted plants. Okay. So you're just going to do it six to eight inches deep, cover it with some of your soil. And you know, fall bulbs, they really like to be fed at that initial planting. Uh, I would agree. So yep. you're going to give them a splash of water. Because they actually do start to grow exactly. before winter happens. I'm so happy you said that, yep. Uh, and the whole key here, the perfect time for planting is uh, cold, coldness is actually kind of the, the incubator for mm -hmm. growth. So yep. you, you want to plant when the nights drop down to about 45 degrees or less. Very true. Is that right? Yes, you're very okay. right. Yep. Okay. And definitely give it a shot of the Spray and Flourish and the Flower Magic fertilizers because, like Dan was saying, this yep. will give them that initial feeding, and that way they can get through the winters and get strong. And they store ready. energy, and they and they will give it back to you in the spring. That's right. And you will have flowers like you have never ever seen before. Like you before. see in your garden, three to four foot, super tall, sturdy stems with beautiful bells bell flowers that come together to make a crown, like you see here against the bright blue spring sky. It's that fiery orange, you cannot miss it. It's such a beautiful color combination. And you know, they stand alone. They're like imperial soldiers, yep. but they also work really well behind your other flowers to give your garden that beautiful depth and dimension. Because of the height, do plant them in the back of the garden. Yep, or along your house or okay. your fence line like you yep. see here. Yeah, it's really, it's just a beautiful, the most, probably the most interesting spring flower. And, and the price is right. You're getting mm -hmm. that four piece set for the most affordable price that we can offer. Yep. That's $26. Your shipping and handling is zero. Now, we want to go back just a little bit because Stephanie also brought to us one of my favorites. These are the Allium. And this is a wonderful pollinator. Get those bees out in your garden. Get them busy. Get them active. $19.98 brings those to you. We have those at the right price. And they are they're these globes of, of purple. There's only about 200 of these remaining. And then they're gone until, are you ready? Until spring of 2019.